The easiest way for us humans to understand something is when we see it. If we can understand a circumstance with the naked eye, it seems easier to understand the effects and causes of a certain process. But what is the situation like in situations that are completely invisible to the human eye? The mysteries surrounding the infinite vastness of our universe stem primarily from the fact that we simply cannot observe certain areas of the galaxy due to the different spatial circumstances. Today we would like to set out with you on a journey into the unknown. We are dedicated to the question of what is actually outside the visible universe. We leave the Earth, the only home we know, to go to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. If you would like to join us on our journey, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let us begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. The beginning. In order to understand what is hidden outside the visible universe, it is advisable to first discuss how the universe itself was created in the first place. In all probability, you have all heard of the world-famous Big Bang Theory. This thesis from cosmology deals with the origin of space, time, and matter. According to experts, the Big Bang, which is generally considered to be the birth of our universe, occurred about 13.8 billion years ago. However, contrary to initial assumptions, most of these theories do not deal with the Big Bang itself, but rather with the earliest state of the universe after the event known as the Big Bang. The term Big Bang has an extremely martial effect at first sight and awakens in us the idea of a gigantic explosion, as a result of which the components of our universe were hurled like bullets into the vastness of space. In fact, the term Big Bang only describes the emergence of matter, space, and time from a previous singularity. In astronomy, the word singularity refers to a spatial state in which the prevailing gravity is so strong that the curvature of space-time is practically infinite. Within their Big Bang theories, scientists try to observe the spatial expansion of our universe backwards in order to eventually return to the point where the universe was just formed. However, experts are still largely in the dark about their thesis. According to them, there is currently no generally accepted theory that can explain the exact origin of the universe or its earliest state incontestably. Observable Universe As we mentioned in the beginning, it is not possible for mankind to observe every remote corner of the universe. Conversely, however, this circumstance also means that there are certain areas of the universe that we can see with the help of our modern technical equipment. This area that we can see from the Earth is commonly referred to as the observable universe. In some illustrations, that observable universe is represented as a spherical structure. However, this geometric shape is due solely to the fact that the corresponding models place the Earth at the center as a kind of observer. The spherically depicted environment therefore only reflects the radius visible from the Earth and does not represent the actual shape of our universe. In principle, this scheme can be applied to any celestial body in our galaxy. The area that we can observe from our Earth is defined by the so-called event horizon. The event horizon describes in detail how far away an object in the universe may be from us so that we can just barely detect the light it emits. In the current models from the experts, this event horizon is estimated at a value of about 16.2 billion light-years. Due to the dynamics created by the steady expansion of the universe, some celestial bodies will become visible in the firmament in the future that we cannot see at present. However, current forecasts assume that we will never be able to see those objects that are behind the so-called Hubble radius from Earth as the expansion of the universe will cause the corresponding celestial bodies to move even further away from our blue home planet and thus from our field of vision. In addition, some objects that we can see from our planet today will disappear from our field of vision in the future. This can also be explained by the progressive expansion of the universe. Does the universe have an edge? 
When we speak about our universe, space is commonly referred to as an infinitely large entity. Experts are convinced of the fact that the universe is expanding steadily and at a rapid speed. This circumstance is accompanied by the question into which space the universe expands and whether this area is possibly limited. Is it possible then that the universe has some kind of edge? This is a question on which the world of researchers is divided. Put simply, the question could be asked whether there is a certain border point in the universe from which one can look beyond the boundaries of the visible universe to the area that is still hidden. If one would like to apply this metaphor to a situation that is comprehensible to us, one could imagine this circumstance as if our universe were a self-contained building. So is there a window on the outer walls of this building through which you can look out? Most experts agree that this is not the case. The reason for this is the so-called cosmological principle, which states that the distribution of matter in our universe looks about the same when viewed from any area. In general, researchers believe that our universe is isotropic. Isotropy describes the directional independence of objects. This is the reason why experts largely rule out the possibility that the universe has an edge. Accordingly, there is no point which clearly defines the end of our universe and from which one could look into the delimited area behind it. In order to visualize this fact, researchers like to compare the spatial nature of the universe with the surface of a balloon. If you were to place a small insect on such a balloon, it could run in every conceivable direction without ever coming up against a clearly defined edge. But how is it actually possible for the universe to expand continuously if it itself has no edge or end? For us humans, this question is so difficult to understand because we are used to thinking in those earthly dimensions that we find every day on our planet. In reality, however, the space in which the universe expands is not three-dimensional. There is therefore no delimited outer space in the universe. In other words, this means that galaxies do not expand within a predefined space. It is rather the space itself that expands. What is outside the observable universe? Now that we have briefly touched on the structural nature of the universe, let us return to our original question. What lies beyond the observable universe? With this question, experts naturally have to enter the field of speculation. Many researchers are of the opinion that the invisible universe is structured in much the same way as the observable universe. In view of this thesis already presented, which states that the universe has no clearly defined edge and is practically infinite, this theory seems very plausible. This infinity of space simultaneously describes the fact that outside the visible universe, there are countless other stars, planets, and other celestial bodies. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. After all, we are dealing with a never-ending area in which simply everything we know from our part of the galaxy can be found, and probably even much more. If one follows the thesis of infinity, then somewhere out there, it is highly probable that for each of us, there is an almost identical double which differs only slightly from us. This thesis, advocated by some experts, appears to us at first glance to be unimaginable. In detail, however, this train of thought describes the true dimensions of infinity, which many of us cannot comprehend. However, there are other theories within the scientific community that pursue the question of what lies beyond the observable universe. In 2008, some researchers were able to identify a very strange phenomenon in the firmament. Astronomers witnessed how different galactic clusters were moving as one and in the same direction at enormous speed. This led experts to believe that behind the visible universe, there might be gigantic structures that exert an unusually high gravitational influence on nearby objects. What these structures are in detail, however, is proverbially written in the stars. On the one hand, they could be enormous accumulations of matter, but spatial distortions in space-time would also be conceivable. Another thesis states that our universe is in reality only a small part of a so-called multiverse. In essence, this means that the multiverse is a collection of infinitely many individual universes that exist side-by-side side like tiny bubbles. For the time being, 
the question of what really lies behind the boundaries of our visible universe remains a mysterious secret. Who knows how many centuries will pass before mankind has deciphered the riddle of the universe? We hope that our excursion to the boundaries of our universe was entertaining and informative. Which theory do you think is the most plausible? Do you yourself have an idea of what is hidden in the infinite expanses of the galaxy? Leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time.